Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the model where you can write your business model. How can you exactly create the model by using the artisan command in Laravel 10. So for those person who just join us on our YouTube channel, I request them please click on subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update. So let's get started. Okay guys, so now as you can see, we have already configured our data in the env file. So now it's time to create the models. Make sure if you talk about the MVC design patterns, you have a controller which controls everything. You have a view where you can define your layout and definitely you can write your business logics inside your models. So each models belongs to a particular table. So let's suppose we have these tables. You know very well that we have uh, connected the tables and we uh, we have migrated our migrations in our previous video so now let's suppose i'm gonna create the model so first of all how can you do that you know very well that you have the artisan command to create the tables i'm saying cls php artisan make model also you can view the artisan php artisan list so in the make sections you can create the models as you can see you can create the models creating a new eloquent model class so now i'm saying php artisan make model i have to write the model name i'm saying user first letter is capital because we're going to create a class so just click on the So whenever you download a fresh package, so this model comes with the by default name, email, and also the password. So let's suppose I'm saying I gonna create a user second. So user second is the class name. So just click on the enter button. You have successfully created the model. So here, as you can see, in the model sections, you have the model. So now, this is the model. So this is the model. Now, in this way, you can create the model, first of all, since this is the by default model. So that's why we're going to use this model, which is a user model. This model comes when you download the fresh package of the Laravel. So now, here, as you can see, you are fetching the data by using the DB class. So as you can see, now you have added the DB as a facade. Since I am removing this one, and now uh, I'm saying, I'm removing also this one. I'm saying, I'm going to use uh, the user model. So this is the model. If you go to the top, as you can see, you have not defined the use as a model. So whenever you just click on the model. So now go to the app. As you can see, you have attached the model here in your file so now you are saying model all so it will give you the all entries available in this model i'm saying uh, this is the users sections if you d die refresh the page as you can see it's giving you nothing but let's suppose i'm going to add the data in this model so i'm saying uh, user model and now I am saying new user. And uh, now I am saying I have the name, I think. Make sure. Go to the database name. So this is the ENV file, and this is the database we have created. This database is not available. Okay, so now this is the user and this is the structure so you have a name which is the required so this is not null not null and this is the not null name email and also passwords are the not null fields so name control d control d to create and this is the email email and also this is the password make sure i'm using the password for now as a straightforward but we're going to convert the password and then we're going to store the password in our later lectures. I'm saying 
John Wick is the name. And now email, I'm saying John at gmail.com. Password, I'm saying John123, and this is the dollar sign. So now if I store the model, I'm saying just save the model. That's it. Now after saving the model, I'm fetching the data and showing the data here. Store, as you can see, when you click on this one, so this is John, John Wig, and you have a password, and other fields are empty. So now your system giving you a uh, one array. So now, as you can see, this is the object, and you have the data. As you can see, array, you have the name, you have the email, and you have the password. So these are the required fields. So now, if you refresh again, so you have a second entry since duplicate entry is not allowed why because when you go to the model uh, you have defined that duplicate you have defined in the structure that this is the unique email you know uh, you cannot create the duplicate email so that's why it's saying this one so now i'm going to i'm saying second i'm saying john wick second and now if you refresh boom you have the second refresh you have the second john wick 2 and this is a john wick 2 and it's giving you the two entries so as you can see this is the two entries first this is the object first and this is the and now you have another one which is this one and this is the john wick 2 so i'm i gonna commit this one so now refresh boom giving you the same things so in this way you can create the model first of all you can access the model like this and by the way this is the elephant orm which is the object relational mapper we're going to discuss about the orm object relational mapper in our later lectures but for now this is the model and in this way you can fall and you can insert Whenever we perform the CRUD operations, we're going to discuss it. How can you insert, update, and also the delete one? Okay, guys, so in this way, you can create the model, you can work with the models, you can send the data from your controller to the model, or you can call the model from the controller. So, I hope, guys, you are enjoying our videos. If you think we are doing good, thumbs up. Feel free to share our courses with your friends, especially on social networks and please support us by clicking subscribe button and pushing the bell icon so you never miss any update so thank you for watching